On the beaches, we will treat them badly. We wonder if superior German tourists are truly a superior group of visitors as Lanzarote seeks to replace Brits with them. Subscribe, like and share our channel for latest news and travel details across the globe. Do not miss to press the bell icon below to get the latest video. Spanish politicians have a rocky relationship with tourists, alternating between welcoming tourists from wealthy European nations and firmly committing to diversifying seasonal economies. Recently, the president of Lanzarote said that the island would try to reduce dependence on British tourism in favor of German vacationers who spend more when they're here. This was in reference to British tourists. Brits abroad have gained notoriety for being tipsy, uproarious, and light-hearted, however go 16 ounces for half-court with their cousins from the landmass. The reality is not entirely consistent with President Dolores' vision of Germans who are responsible and spend a lot. While Brits traveling abroad are frequently criticized for their antics on Spanish island beaches, they are not the only ones who occasionally overdo it. Mallorca is aware of this because in May of last year, 13 tourists were detained after setting a terrace on fire. Witness statements mentioned that thatch on a terrace had been hit with cigarette and alcohol but two bars had already been severely damaged by the party. In a less well-known incident, two were arrested in 2016 for stealing 10 beach towels and assaulting a store salesman as they fled. They later claimed that everything was part of a wager after they were arrested for robbery with violence. However, there is more than just personal experience to support the notion that German tourists are far from ideal. Additionally, there is ample photographic evidence. Photographs taken in Palma de Mallorca show a largely German-speaking audience supporting German singer Mia Julia during her topless performance at the Oberbayern Disco. In an effort to lure German tourists to the Oberbayern Disco, Spanish advertisers can be seen outside dressed in lederhosen and sporting the blue and white diamonds of the Bavarian rotten flag. The disco is located on the so-called Ballermann stretch of the island, where heavy drinking is referred to in German as Ballern. In other photos, German tourists are seen literally drinking by the bucket, a practice that local stores have been happy to let happen for at least a decade. Brits who attend festivals will be familiar with the experience of drinking from a bucket. The bucket head pattern is something that keeps on joining Germanic people groups abroad. This itself isn't universes from the Spanish Botellen, lit. Large bottle getting together in large groups to drink and socialize. German banners envision flying in the Palma de Mallorca ocean breeze just before the 2010 World Cup semi-last are not so unique to snaps of English vacationers taunted for waving St. George's banner in front of major games. The Canary Islands, which include Lanzarote and are owned by Spain off the coast of Africa, already know that welcoming German tourists to replace Brits won't solve all of their problems. A German tourist was given a four-month prison sentence in the previous year for threatening an environmental agent who asked him to leave the Gran Canaria's Mas Palomas Dunes Special Nature Reserve. When he was asked to leave, he slapped an agent on the hand and threatened them after picking up a large rock that he didn't use. The attitude of the small number of tourists who visit the Spanish islands with the intention of getting drunk, stealing towels, and ignoring the authorities is more important than their nationality. This attitude has developed over the years as the islands have welcomed visitors from all over the world to enjoy libertine vacations filled with sun, sea, sand, and brief romance. Rebranding is currently difficult for many. Sixty bars and restaurants in Majorca were fined in 2016 by the police for not following a new rule about zones of special tourist interest. After hoteliers complained about groups of German tourists coming to Playa de Parma and Germany for boozy weekends, the new zones were created. This is not a brand new issue. 
In the photos below, Germans are seen having fun in bars and clubs in 2007 by standing on tables and taking off their clothes. Whole regions of the Spanish islands have been transformed in a way that can't be undone easily by a stable tourism industry that thrives on carefree tourists of all kinds. The Schinkenstrasse, Ham Road, in Mallorca has existed since the 1980s. It grew out of the Ballermann Six Beach Shack's success and is now a popular hangout for German tourists looking to get drunk for generations. The local smell of vomit, urine, and sunscreen was mentioned by the German broadcaster DW. During the pandemic, when local tourists stayed at home, Playa de Palma provided a welcome respite for entrepreneurs. At the point when vacationers began returning July, German language papers detailed it was as though nobody had known about the crown pandemic. The moral high ground is not really enjoyed by any tourist groups here. The British are simply more well known for their deeds abroad. Mallorca's Magaluf is known for attracting tourists who want to network with other travelers. The fact that its other name is English is not by accident. When authorities were forced to remind British tourists not to drink, undress or defecate in public, this reached a new low in 2018. In 2017, graffiti reading Tourists Go Home and Tourist, You Are the Terrorist appeared all over Palma, the capital of Majorca. In drunk tourists lying on the floor, showing their underwear, and diving into crowded pools, footage from Spain's islands shows. Numerous British revelers who are interested in topless dancing and unrestricted drinking frequent Benidorm's British Square. El Paz's reaction to videos of Brits having a party in Salou, 70 miles south of Barcelona, was particularly enraged. According to their report, tourists had created a debauched atmosphere, far removed from the quality tourism that the Generalitat, regional government, claims to promote. The feature noted that partying, cheap alcohol, and the hope of easy fun were the primary themes. Brits themselves acknowledge that the most embarrassing aspect of their global image is excessive drinking. The second most common complaint from British tourists is that it is considered arrogant to not try the local language while on vacation. They are embarrassed that they only eat British cuisine fifth. The British are as irritated by towel stealing as anyone else. A few lodgings in Spain have presented prohibitions on qualified sightseers searching for secure the best sun snare for a really long time at a time. There are occurrences recorded of travelers getting up at 5 a.m. to save the best spot. Nearly half of Brits, or 46%, admit to peeing in a pool or ocean while on vacation. Notably, this is significantly lower than German tourists. 44%, and significantly lower than U.S. tourists. Only Lanzarote is the latest of the islands to try to deal with the reality of having too many booze-drinking tourists, regardless of where they come from. In an effort to improve their image, the Balearic Islands government announced plans last month to restrict the number of visitors. In the 1980s, Lanzarote took longer than most to open up to international tourism, whereas Ibiza set the standard in the 1950s. However, British tourists now account for roughly half of Lanzarote's 2.5 million annual visitors. President Mara Dolores Corujo has since warned of a saturated British market and praised Germans with higher spending because she is concerned about this dependence. However, Germans are not more enticing to the island because of their spending. According to data provided by the Lanzarote Tourist Board, British tourists spend an average of €34.94 Euros and 94 cents per day on the volcanic islands. In contrast, German tourists spend the least overall, on average spending €27.69 Euros and 69 cents per day. The market in the UK has expanded by 73% since 2010, while the market in Germany has expanded by 50%.
Also, you can't use this money just to buy alcohol. Despite the fact that Brits enjoy a drink, the nation does not rank among the top 10 for alcohol consumption. Germany, on the other hand, comes in at number 4 with 12.79 liters of pure alcohol consumed annually per person, and Ireland, the third largest tourist destination in Lanzarote, comes in at number 6, 12.75. Spain is ranked 7th overall. Subscribe, like and share our channel for latest news and travel details across the globe. Do not miss to press the bell icon below to get the latest video.